Hey everyone, my name is Paul and in this video I will fix the ignition switch in my scooter with some duct tape. Now I know what you're thinking, you don't need a video to tape something back together, but before you go and watch videos of cats getting brain freeze instead, let me show you how to remove the ignition switch, where you can find a replacement, and I'll show you a little bit about the wiring. The front fairing will need to come off to get to the ignition switch. First take off the chrome trim, then remove the Phillips head screws that hold the front plastic. Mine is already broken, so it's even easier to take apart. And that's it! Watch out for spiders. The wires fell off my ignition switch. Let's unplug the connector and remove the switch from the scooter. That was easy. It looks like someone has already been in here. It's missing the steering lock. There should be a cylinder going from the ignition lock to the steering column. The cylinder goes in the steerer tube and prevents the handlebars from turning. The bolt spacing is important when you're looking for a new ignition switch. My ignition switch has a six terminal connector with five wires in it. The back shouldn't come off like this. The white plastic piece connects power when you turn the key. When you turn the key, it turns this rectangular piece. The white plastic piece hooks into that and turns with the key. It simply connects different wires together. This bracket holds the front plastic fairing on the scooter. It looks like the switch has a 17 millimeter bolt spacing. With the bracket on, you get a 55 millimeter spacing. Let's see if I can find a switch that fits. Parts for Scooters has a switch for 150cc Chinese scooters. The connector looks right, but the bolt spacing is wrong. This one doesn't fit. eBay has one, but the connector is wrong and they don't tell you the bolt spacing. That's not going to work. There's a Raketa parts store online. And there's my scooter. That's a good looking scooter. Let's click on electrical parts. And the ignition switch is right there. The picture is bad, but I'm sure it's the right switch for my scooter. I'm not paying $73 for that. Let me show you what the switch does. In the on position, the switch connects the smaller pins. If I hold the switch on, I can start the scooter. The weird thing is, the scooter will still run after you disconnect the switch. Now if I connect the two bigger terminals in the switch, the engine turns off. Let's unplug that ignition switch and take a look at the wiring diagram. One of the greatest things about Chinese scooters is they're all very similar. This is a generic GY6 diagram that will probably work for your scooter too. When the ignition switch is on, it connects the red and black wires. When it's off, the switch connects the green and white wires. Let's test that. I'm installing a jumper between the red and black wires. The scooter starts and runs. When I take the wire out, it stays running. When I connect the jumper to the green and white wires, the scooter turns off. I'll take the jumper out of there. I decided to fix my ignition switch. I'll drop the plastic piece in and make sure it falls into the right place. Now the back goes on with the wires pointing down. Okay, now for the tutorial on how to tape the switch. Just kidding, you know how tape works. I spent five minutes taping this thing, but nobody wants to see that. Put the bracket back on and install the screws. That's pretty easy. Now the switch can go back in the scooter. Use a 10 millimeter socket on the bolts. Don't forget about the connector. I just need to test the switch. I have to pull the key a bit to get it to the on position. Hold the brake and hit the start button. And it works. The engine is running. And it turns off when you turn the key. Now I can put it back together. The front fairing goes on last. It's a good idea to leave the screws loose until you've installed all of them, then go back and tighten them. Be careful not to over tighten the screws so you don't break the plastic. Okay, I lied about not giving you a tutorial on duct tape. Clean the panels with alcohol. This plastic is old and brittle, so adding screws doesn't really work. Duct tape is really the best option here. That tape looks great. Now, what did we learn today? Oh yeah, you can start your scooter with a piece of wire, and you can fix it with duct tape. That's all I have for now, and I'll see you guys in the next video.